That's why I'm just like, man, I know when it when it when it do what it do. Hey man, praise God. We're gonna be at the cause cause the one thing about it with like cut, like he not tripping. Right. On the, on, like if it's money, we gonna get the money. He Amen. not tripping. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like right. it's just it just he know I almost kinda look at it kinda like a like an audition, I guess. Right, like, right. You know, motherfucker right, right. You wanna see if you can do some shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, and, right. But right. niggas gotta know, like Right, for real, for we real. I've been doing this right. shit for a long right. time. We ain't just start right. doing for this real, shit. For real, for real. Like, for real. Hey. I was doing it when niggas was talking about, man, fuck this shit. I'm going to go do something else. And then double back and start doing it again. Right, right. And see, me, I go do something else. And I never stop. I never stop. See, that's the thing about me. I never stop. But I'm, you also ain't never said, man, I'm quitting this oh, nah. shit. I'm done shit. with this shit either. <laughs> that's the difference. Nah. Like, when a nigga be... uh. Man, mm-hmm. I'm done with this shit. Fuck this shit. And then shit. turn around. You, right. And then six months later. Nah. Because now you playing catch up. You know, I don't, I don't want to play catch up. I don't want to play catch up. It's enough. Amen. I'm trying to stay up. Amen. Facts. <laughs> and then as long as you keep working and doing what you're doing, you eventually get the right team. Yeah. A lot of people give up before they get a chance to get with the right team. And by the time they get with the right team, they so burnt out. On all the bad people, they don't know what to do with the good people. But see, that's because we might fall to be rolling right now. Because that that shit that shit go <laughs> with the that shit go with like the expectations of, of like you know the expectations of a team. Amen. The expectations of the individual in the team Amen. Or on the team. Amen. Should I say? Amen. Um, like that shit is is hard putting together a team. I mean, even when you like look at like sports and shit, like. You know what I'm saying? They'll put a bunch of good ass motherfuckers together and it still don't work. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So right. it's like, nah, it's it's it, it, it just so many variables, bro. And that to me personally, that's why I just be like, man, I'm just gonna go hard. That's it. And that's it. You know that's what I'm it. saying? That's regardless it. of who on the team, I, I, I be it. on my LeBron James yeah. shit. Like, that's, I'm just gonna go hard. Fuck hey, it. That's now, hey. I, it. What win or lose, I'm not necessarily like Saying okay, well, hey, I well, I did the best. I, did right. the, well, I I look at it in the day like, well, damn, if, if I'm gonna go home feeling some type of way, I can't go home feeling bad about my effort. Hey, Amen. Hey, Amen. I did give. Hey, Amen. And, and that's how I am too. Thing I that's how too. I am too. God, you know, as long as you know you putting in work, you know what I'm saying. It, that's the most important thing. You got to know it for yourself. You know what I'm right. saying. Hey, Amen. Right, hey, right, right. And, and and I believe like is you know if you putting in work right, or if right, you're not. right. You know what right. I'm saying. Ooh, and how can you expect? A good outcome. If you ain't see, some people already know the outcome. You know what I'm saying? Man, you know, yes. for me, I'm always expecting, and you never know what's going on. Oh yeah, man, what it do, man? Welcome, welcome. to the Soccer welcome. Talk podcast, welcome. man. You know what I'm saying? Well, we talking about real life situations and real life transformation all the time, man. Amen. We appreciate y'all tuning in, rocking with us this week. Amen. I'm your big homie, Struck Supreme, and I'm Street Nitty the Representative. Hey, as always, subscribe to the channel. Amen. Hit that button right now. Hey. Get them notifications. We need all the love and the support, man. Amen. Shouts out to everybody that been tuned in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Um, happy. It's gonna be a Saturday when this flowing. So uh, happy Saturday for those mm-hmm. who seeing this. Happy Sabbath. You know what I'm saying? You know it's a blessing to be here, man. You As always, thank you. It's thank a blessing you. It is to be here. Um, all praise the Most High. Um, shouts out to Evan Vision, the network. Yeah, yeah. Y'all make sure y'all tap in. Um, buy magazine. Y'all see the shirts. Y'all see the magazine. So you know it's a movement. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Man, for sure. Big for ups, sure. big ups, man. How your week been flowing with you so far? Man, everything was good. You know, we just uh coming off the Valentine's Day. And Super Bowl. V Day and Super Bowl. Hey. So, you know, yeah, man. It was an eventful weekend so far, man. Out with the wife on I Valentine's seen you, man. Day. I seen y'all out there about yeah, holy yeah, God. Yeah, having a hey, good time, man. chilling, you know, uh <laughs> doing what lovers do and Super Bowl, you know, it's always good. Amen. You know, I'm a sports addict, so Amen. Uh, uh, shoot, man, the Super Bowl was lit. I almost thought the Bengals was gonna pull it out for wow. a second, um, mm. but I think expertise 
knowledge, experience. Um, that's what allowed the Rams to win the Super Bowl. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like shouts got, out to the Rams, too, yeah, man. Like, yeah, for real, for real. They Any, did that thing. Anytime you win, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> that's that's a big move. You know what I'm saying? Man, that, that Super Bowl um, performance. Man, after, line, oh, bro. man. Man, listen. Crazy. Man. Shout out to Dr. Dre. Shout hey. out to Snoop. Hey. Eminem. Hey, man. Cent, hey, man. The and Queen the, Mary J. Blige and the and the and the young OG Kendrick man. Lamar. Hey, man. man. Like, hey, man. I read dope. something where they said that um Dre paid for a lot of the stuff that went on. Got uh, listen, man. It's the business. Hey, man. man. But that's that's but for him to invest in a culture like that. Because sometimes you have to invest to make it stand out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I mean, I, I, listen, man, when it comes to this entertainment business, for real, for real, all jokes aside, you got to spend money. Yeah, you got to. You know you what got I'm saying? To. I don't care. The, the biggest artist, the biggest star that you see, them folks spending checks. Yes. If they yes. not spending it out of yes. their own pocket, they company, they label, whoever running shit, on the shit, those are the people that's coughing but up the I money. guess that's when they say they got the machines. Got uh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Hey. You know what I'm saying? But it, it's it, it that what Dre did just goes to show artists like even on the biggest stage like Super Bowl. Right, right. You still gonna come out of pocket? Hey, Amen. Hey, Amen. Hey, Amen. <laughs> so if you got a problem with coming out of pocket, little twenties, little fifties, right, right, to to get yourself. On them steps of elevation, ain't no way in hell you're going to pay 7 M's for the Super Bowl. You know, um, Gucci, I seen on one of his interviews one time, and he talked about, you know, like a lot of artists don't like to pay now mm -hmm. to perform, you know, sometimes. And it's because of what people put in their ears. You should be getting paid because you're an artist. Not, but you can. Not, not you should be getting paid because what you can bring to the table. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But one thing I seen Gucci said, you know, he had no problem going places and paying to perform. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. You know, because sometimes it's about the moment. You know, like sometimes you be like, man, this would be the perfect opportunity right here to do it. You know, and sometimes you might have to go on and, and, and bust that bag bust that open. Down. You like, know what I'm saying? Like one, of, one of them, like we talk about perfect opportunities, like for a lot of artists, uh, you know, Going to attend this South by Southwest in Austin, Texas. Right, right. It's a great yes, it is. Yes, it and is. Like, you yes, know it is. Saying? It's a situation where you might go down there with no shows booked and end up performing every night. Hey, Amen. Because it's just like that. You know what I'm saying? Even if you're not performing, networking. all the media, networking. all the outlets, all the platforms, bro, you can go down there and network, boy, running to somebody that you might, even though you might not have performed in South by Southwest, they the man or the or the, or the the lady, the chick in Texas, yeah. in New York, in Los Angeles. Hey. Get your ass out there, wherever they at. Right. And then put you on. Hey, Amen. You know what I'm saying? So it's all about. The network. Hey, and, sure. hey, and while he's saying that, y'all make sure you tap in right now. You still got slots for the scumbag yeah, season. Man, we still got it. Big concert. I think, I think we got about six six slots left. Hey man, tap um, in. Also, I got a shout out. Um, uh, making it mag. You know what I'm saying? They accepted us, uh, Soccer Talk Podcast, to be a media outlet. Okay, amen. Uh, yeah, for hey, that. That's for, big, making yeah, a match. For, yeah, yeah, for amen. sure, for sure. You know, they do a big media event during South by Southwest. Okay. Every year. They get it. They have about 50 to 100 different media outlets And I see out they there. be hitting the artists out. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 man. That that, that Music Matters uh, Media Day, that shit going to be lit. Hey. The Soccer Talk Podcast will be in the building. Okay, so, then. You are, you, you know hit. what I'm saying? Hey. Yeah. Yeah, Amen. that way. Combined Amen. magazine, that way. Hey, and, and like I say, man, um, for all the independent artists, you know, that's looking for exposure, um, tap in. You know, we got a host of services that we bring to the yeah. table, from studios, mixtape placement, you know, social media growth, every. You know what I'm saying? You name it, we claim it. You know, yeah, man. we when we say the socket, we really mean the socket. You know what I'm saying? So definitely tap in, um, small or big pop mom store. It don't matter. Tap in. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, we, Let, we we definitely here to help. Amen. You Amen. Know what I'm 
Big facts, big facts, man. Hey, I'm just blessed to be here. You know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure, I'm man. I'm blessed. Hey, I, I thank God for that. I you won't complain. For this moment right now. Right. Hey, oh, the word for the day is expectation. You know, um, a lot of people be living lives where they don't really know what's going on. But a lot of time, they're not expecting anything good to happen to them. And a lot it's deep because we live in a world that got so much strife, so much mischief, chaos. You know, if you ain't in touch with yourself, you can catch yourself drifting off like that. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So you got to always be, you got to be expecting the best. For, you know what I'm saying? Because it's a two-way street. Mm -hmm. Some people expecting people to do stuff for them. Right. But then you got others that's always expecting good outcomes. You know what I'm saying, though? You know, so there's I'm in expectation. You know, I'm expecting to be great. You know, I'm 40, 42 years old. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I'm still expecting to do some great, great things. things. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, while I'm man. here on this earth. You know what I'm saying? Are you in expectation? You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. For, for sure. Expectations, man. They Expectations, man. They, they, I don't know, man. When, when when you talked about the word today, man, I, you know, it really, hey, it kind of, you know, I guess the word kind of touched me in a way, man, because, mm. uh, like everybody got expectations, especially now. It seems to me. Uh, everybody got expectations of others, right? But not expectations of themselves, right? Um, but I also think that goes into play with, um, unfortunately, many of us have come up, and we haven't been privy to uh, a lot of the finer things in life. I mean, we come up from the projects, we come up from dilapidated mm. hoods, and. Uh, ghettos and projects and Section Eight living and and some of us like how do we expect to come out of that? Mm. Like, how do we make it out of that? You know what I'm saying? To, uh, and and you have these, you know, it's so many people, man, that I know in the hood, man. They where, for example, you know, I got a homie. His his family had great expectations of him mm. to be a, a a star athlete and spent a lot of time and money, right? Effort, you know, only for him to fuck off in the street and end mm. up go up the road for ten years, right? And blow the expectations that somebody else right had of him had right. for him, right? You know what I'm saying, right? Um, you know, expectations, man, within the relationship sometimes, you know, like, shit, depending on where you at in the relationship with your significant other, they may have an expectation of what they're used to. Right. Or what you used to. Or what you used to, but that might not be what it is. Right. For this moment. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Um. You know, so expectations, man, sometimes, man, for me, man, it it, it feels like as a, I look at some people, they had those expectations, but it, it just kind of like almost is a letdown because they don't never live up to those expectations. Mm. But I was reading a little bit further about expectations and, the, and, and, and what came out to me in the word is that um, – God only expects one thing of us, mm. right? And that the only expectation that God has for us is to believe that his son is the Savior, right? So I feel as though if you, if you have that type of synergy, if you understand that, right, regardless to where your level of expectation lands, you're going to be fine. You're going to be good because the ultimate expectation is for you to understand, hey, listen, whether you become who you thought you was, this doctor or lawyer 15 years ago, or you just so happen to be working 
at the janitor in the school, listen, that was God's expectation. Right. For you. Hey. That, that's 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 what God has in store for you. So I, I say all that to double back and, and, and tap on with expectations, man. Don't beat yourself up. Hey, Amen. You know what I'm saying? Like, we expect so much from ourselves, and when it don't happen the way that we want it to happen, we quick to feel like it's the end of the world, you know hey. but it's not. You know what I'm saying? Oh, keep chopping away. You Expectation and reality. There's a lot of yeah. people they 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 take the expectation to a so high of a level because you know how they say you know think big. Yeah. You know, and yeah. there's nothing wrong with thinking big, but always be able to be real with yourself. You got You to. know what I'm saying? You, you know, to. and I, you know, even talking about the creators, it's a part where, the, where they talk about, you know, like, why should God do anything for you if you don't believe he can do it? Like, you asking, you asking the creator to do something for you, right. but in your mind, you really like, man, I don't know if God can do this right here for me. And it's a lot of time wondering why it ain't manifesting. But it's like, it's like, why should it manifest? You know what I'm saying, though? You, you know, don't believe it. Right. So kind of piggyback on what you said. Because, like, with me, I had to learn how to have faith. See, mm-hmm. I, went, I, didn't, I went automatically taught how to have faith. Right. You know what I'm saying? So faith is, you know, some, not, it, faith is something I kind of stumbled along and picked up and was like, okay, I seen others with it, but I still didn't get yeah. it. You know, and it's the same thing like you were saying with expectations. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times people might not even know what to expect. Mm-hmm. So to expect, like it took a long time for me to expect that I deserve good things. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Not, I had the expectation exactly. of good things. Exactly. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So expectations, man, it go, it can go in so many different ways. Yeah, you that's know what, what I was saying? saying. Like you know, the, you know, people depending on where they come from, man. Right. They don't, they don't, they ain't gonna never really have an expectation. Or they don't know. You know, they don't believe. Being as though that nobody out of this neighborhood, out of this project, has ever been successful. How do I believe? That I can be successful. Right. Yeah. How right. do I have that expectation? Right. But like you said, you got to find that faith. You got to find that 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 internal presence of like, man, I'm going to beat the odds. Hey, that's it. I'm going to make it out. That's you know it. what I'm saying? I'm going to do what they say I can. That's it. Do. That's it. That's it. You know, um, and I, I think with that, man, you know, that's all you that's all you can expect from yourself in life is just to give all hey, that you can. That's it. You know, that's why like we was talking about earlier, just right. trying to go as hard because, you know, I got expectations of myself. My my expectations are it's very simple with me. Like when I'm dead and gone, what are people going to say about me? What you left, hey. what I left, right. whatever your legacy is. You know, a lot of people focusing on on the bag, but the bag is what they fight over when you're gone. You know, people fighting over <laughs> who gonna get the car. You know, who gonna it? It be so deep, man. You see, families really tear apart. You know what I'm Absolute. saying? Absolutely. When it comes, and, and, but when the legacy, what was the legacy that was left though? You know, I heard somebody say it's a lot of people call themselves bosses out here. But how can you call yourself a boss and you ain't, ain't even helping nobody? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, though? You know, a lot of people don't even know what to expect. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. You know, so it's a deep. It's a lot, though. It definitely is a lot. And I think that, you know, like I said, man, you know, we we have expectations we put on we put on ourselves and we don't live up to them, but the expectations that we put on others, we, if we spent less time putting them expectations on others right. and focus on self, that's it. Things would be a lot better. That's it. That's it. You know, I that, can that, dig that, that. That's that's what I think. I can dig yeah. that, man. Hey, man, we appreciate everybody tuning in too, man. We do got special. Yeah. Is what you say? It's a rich show today. Yeah, hey, man. man. It's a rich affair today, man. Hey, man. You know what I'm saying? Got rich champagne in hey. the building. Hey, man. Then we got rich life, man, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Hey. So, you know, it's 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 a rich, rich affair, man, and, and that's good. You know what I'm saying? Because 
in all honesty, you know what I'm saying? I expect to be rich. Hey, that's it. Big facts. Yeah. Hey, yeah. if you ain't scrying for perfection, what you trying to do? You nah, know what I'm real, saying? For real. Hey. And, and and you know, as well, like you can't be negative and expect positive results. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like with your expectations. You know, if you have negative expectations, then you expect negative results. Right. You know what I'm saying? Negative right. outcomes. Uh, try and keep your expectations positive. Try and, you know what I'm saying, find that light at the end of the tunnel. And then you can't expect to do the same things and get different results. You know, a lot of people, that's that's something that a lot of people don't get, you know. Yep. They ultimately do it the, the same exact way, you know, not thinking, you know what, man, let me switch this up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? And they should. Yeah, you know, switch it up a little bit, and then I can expect something different, a, a different outcome, mm -hmm. you know. But different you, results. Right, 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 different right. Different results. Yeah, mm -hmm. so you already know what it is, but you know, I guess it's about time to bring the uh, one of our artists in. Uh, yeah, we bring one of the guests in, but before we bring the guests in, man, I did want to, um, you know, it's Black History Month. So, hey, man. Um, I don't know if you got a chance to check out. Uh, first of all, you you know who Dick Gregory is, the comedian Dick Gregory, you right? Know? Well, civil right activist. Did he pass away? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah uh huh. Yeah, a little while ago. Um, it's been a little minute since since uh mr dick gregory been gone but um they got a documentary that's out you know it's black history month right and they got a documentary that's out right now and i got a chance to look at the documentary man mm. you know I've, I've i've always known dick gregory as the comedian right you know what i'm saying because right. of course you know i'm an 80s baby so i wasn't around uh in the late 50s and the early 60s when he had you know, black hair. And right. He was young in his youth and, you know, with Mega Evers and Martin Luther King and, you know, doing all that right at the same time being a comedian trying to build up his ranks. Right. Um, So it was real dope to kind of see that side of that story. And I really, uh, when, when me seeing the documentary made me understand the comedian that I was looking at mm. during my time of seeing right. Dick Gregory. I understood the 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 verbiage. I understood the power, where the, the tenacity. Yeah, I understood where the jokes came from. But the jokes were, at this point, he had almost got to a point to where it wasn't even comical. It was just facts. Mm. It's just what... Motherfuckers wasn't telling you, but right. you needed to hear it. Though. Right. You know what I'm saying? And right. and, and uh, I really just respected that, man. So I just definitely had to, um, with Black History Month, man. Um, Acknowledge him. Yeah, man. Shout out Dick Gregory, man. And, and all that he done uh, just along the way. I mean, you know, man, it was so much, bro. Like, I, I didn't know that, you know what I'm saying, he was, you know, very influential and, you know, eating right and, Living right. right, right. I mean, this is a, this is a guy smoking four or five packs of cigarettes a day, right? You know, right. drinking a fifth right. a day, right? You know what I'm saying? To really just changing his whole lifestyle that was really uh inspiring and motivational for me. Um, so yeah, man, if you get a chance, man, y'all go check out that Dick Gregory documentary. Um, I think it's on Showtime, if I'm not mistaken, the Showtime app. So yeah, yeah, check that out. Uh, I damn sure ain't trying to promote them or nothing like that but right. that's where you can find it at right, you know? right, right, right. <laughs> um, also in, on you know that's the male side of black history but uh also wanted to um shout out mayor mcleod bethune for those that don't know who miss mayor mcleod bethune is she's a a great black educator uh founder of bethune cookman college a university now mm. you know what i'm saying um i remember growing up uh i used to stay in Florida for a little minute and you know when you come up in Florida you learn about you know Mary McLeod Bethune due to the fact that you know she was able to go through the ranks of education being a black woman during them times um, and become a founder of an actual college and university mm, that's, that's still dope. up today that's dope 
you know what I'm saying, with her name on it. So that's history. Shout out to Black uh, History. Mayor McLeod Bethune family and you know, yeah, black history, man. You know, we gotta keep our our people alive and what's going on, you know, shit. They ain't talking about us. Right. So we gotta talk about us. Right. Knowledge is you know power. For real. Right. You know, how can you how can you do better if you don't know better? You yeah, know what man. I'm saying? And so. each one teach one. That's right. That's, That's right. What it is for real, for real. Hey, you man. know what I'm saying? But yeah, we can go ahead and get ready, bring in a uh, rich champagne, you know what I'm saying, chop it up with them for a little minute. See what they got going on and uh, keep this socket talk podcast that way. in the middle of the road. Hey, man, you already know what it is. Let's get it. We'll be back. That way. Yeah, man, we back at it again. Socket talk podcast. You know what it is. It's your big homie, Struck Supreme. Hey, and Street Nitty Representative. Street Nitty the Representative, hey. as always. And we got our first guest of the day, man, Rich Champagne in the building. Hey, What's man, happening? What it do, what it do, What's good? Man. You good? What's going on straight? Hey, hey man. Well, thank you for coming. to have you in the building. On, hey. Everything yeah, good man. with you, man. Happy New Year, first of all. Happy I ain't New Year, man. I know. New Year. I know, you know I ain't seen in a minute, man. I was out there in L.A., man. You know, L.A. How vibe. was L.A.? I ain't gonna lie. L.A. is lovely, man. I love L.A. But you know, they was... They was tripping with that vaccination situation. For I real? Get up out of there, yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah they couldn't go there. nowhere, like public bars, you know what I'm saying, malls, wow. anything if you want vaccinated. Wow, you know, for real? Yeah. Nah, I won't with it. Yeah. So they can't wow. go to no Lakers game, nothing. Nah, but to shit, from to my knowledge, what I'm seeing now, they like kind of they reversing it a little bit. They slowing down on that. So hopefully they slowing down on the yeah. whole COVID situation and so. Well, man, you know. I think they done made enough money off COVID. Man, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> shit. I'm they done made enough money off COVID. They might as well let that shit go. Shit, let they, it go. They making them they making money out of that shit so many different ways, from the plasma to everything. To the man right. ass. You ain't never lied. You just said some people ain't even touching on to the plasma and everything, what? and they got them in the every hood. They in the hoods. They not. The they, hood. they not just anywhere. They're in the do, hood. I don't even know if it got any in the regular suburbs. They do. Like, do they? They do. Oh, they okay. do, and they give them higher money too. Mm-hmm. Oh, I know. They give them higher money. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. That plasma ain't no joke though. You know they want it. <laughs> right. Yeah, they want it. They want it for two separate reasons. They want it because. It, uh, it go into the medicines. They need that for the vaccine. Right. And it make us sick or quick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We I get crazy. That. Yeah, they're that trying to break crazy. us down, man. They're trying to break us down. But at the end of the day, melanin going to always have us bouncing back quick. I love Amen. having melanin, bro. Amen. 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 Ain't nothing and, like it. And natural Damn. herbs. A lot natural of people, herbs. yeah, <laughs> natural herbs. A lot of people don't, you know, Keep building up your immune system. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Build it up. You know, ginger, it's, it's plenty of ways to yeah, do it. Yeah, all that. Man, yeah. turmeric, it, it's so many. Um, yeah, it is. You know. Even just, for real, just taking a shot of apple cider vinegar every, uh, day. every day. Amen. Just one shot of apple cider vinegar. Wow, be better than just doing nothing. And, 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 and drink some water, too. Yeah. Definitely drink some <laughs> water. Drink some water. Uh, yeah, not folks, not <laughs> folks hate drinking some water, bro. Hey. I, hey. I never understood that. I, I love water, spell it coach. Yeah, people like water so nasty. It don't taste like nothing. Man. <laughs> Give me a cup. When of it's water. good, when it's cold, it's good. Man, the first thing that was on the earth still the best thing that was <laughs> on, the earth, on the earth. Shit. We made up a ninety. <laughs> what is it? Uh, Seventy percent water. I'm, I'm telling you, man. How? How? Man. How? So for real. Let's hey, double man. back, man. So you was out in L.A. Yeah. I know you was out there probably working on music. Yeah, I was out there working my spot. move. I was definitely out there working my move. Definitely out there networking. Hell yeah. I know you got some other ventures too. Um, the Freezy Joint, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so, uh, so let's the Seven about, Trip. Yeah. Seven Trip. Seven Trip. Okay, so uh, I ain't gonna say I got the idea from uh, in California, you know, uh, they, they have so many different forms of TAC mm-hmm. that you can, you know what I'm saying, uh, exploit. So, Another, I wanted to venture off into the TAC lean because you got so many people that's really strong out on lean. Mm. Right. And my dad, he overdosed on, you know what I'm saying, fentanyl. So uh, that that opioid crisis, that's something that touched sure. real, you know what I'm saying, touched home for me. So I feel like if I can get, I, and I did the TAC lean, I ain't gonna lie, <laughs> it, get, it do get you there. get you there. Mm. But <laughs> way it get you there. You be slow for real, you know, but it had you feeling good. Like when you you get some good sleep, 
You wake up in the morning. See, I did I did lean probably like one time, right? For like a weekend. Mm -hmm. It was one straight weekend I was doing lean, you feel me? And I was mean as hell that whole weekend, all like. And you knew it. And you knew it. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? Nah, but that TAC lean, man, I feel like it can, you know what I'm saying? I feel like it can take people, at least some people, majority, off of that. You know what I mean? Because really, they only doing it for the look. You can throw it in the cup too, man. You know what I mean? Still got the styrofoam. Still got it, man. Still got it. Still double got cup it. too. Yeah, like double still cup. Still double too. cup. Yeah, yeah, that shit ain't yeah, bad. Yeah, but man. that's that's pretty much what that is. You know what I'm saying? But you know, it's I'm 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 branching off into uh fashion as well. So sip and trip. You know what I'm saying? Rich and naughty. I'm gonna have a sip and trip line. You know what I'm saying? To go along with my rich and naughty. Rich and naughty. Brand. Yeah, that's my brand, rich and naughty. I like that. Yeah, cause I, I mean, like who that. wouldn't want to be characterized as rich and naughty? Yeah. Hey. Hey, you yeah. always around the, the, the females, the vibe, so. Hey, man. Yeah. So you got to be, man. Yeah. Hey, man. They going to definitely eat that up. Hey, all the man. Way eat Rich that and all, all the way up. Where you, where you from, Rich Champagne? Originally, I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, man. Home of the pimp, man. Look at it. And the funds. And that, um, you don't remember the funds from back in the day, Milwaukee? Oh, y'all don't remember. Um, hmm. Dang, was it? The funds, you don't remember the funds with the leather jacket? The funds from the back funds. in the funds. Uh, the funds from uh, Happy Days? Yeah, Happy Days. Happy when they Day. from Milwaukee? That one Milwaukee? Yeah, I guess. I think oh, it yeah. was. For real. How no, you, no, 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 no. How I mean, oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. But you are right, though. Yeah, yeah they from Milwaukee. Happy days, though, yeah. They from yeah, Milwaukee. Yeah, yeah Farns. Yeah, I know. With the leather yeah. coat. When, when she said, when she said the pimp, I said, hold up. The fun was a pimp. We definitely home <laughs> of the pimp, man. Perry King, man. My daddy was a pimp, man. Hey, hey word. Word. Hey, man. Word. Shouts yeah. out to Pippin King, man. I ain't pimping, man. How was that, though, having a dad that was a pimp? You know what I'm saying? Was you around to see it? Or did he kind of keep yeah, it away yeah. from no, you? I didn't keep nothing away from me. Tell you this thing, man. I respect my daddy so much because now I ain't gonna say he was in my life the whole, you know what I'm saying, my right. whole time. But what I will say, what I did respect about that man was is okay, if it was something that I wanted to do right, and if he didn't necessarily agree with it, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, he'd tell me the pros and cons of everything I decided, I decided to, do. to do. You know what I mean? And if I still decide to do what I do, he gonna help me. He ain't gonna let me drown. He ain't gonna watch me struggle. He gonna help me do it the best way that he can. You know what I mean? That's that. Period. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, for sure. So I, you know, but him with Pimpin', man, he he definitely pushed that off on me and, you know what I mean, me and my brother. Mm -hmm. We all did and down. I can't say, you know, Pimpin' gonna always be, you know what I'm saying, Emmy. It's in your blood. Yeah. yeah. Literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I ain't no pimp, you know what I'm saying? Pimpin' is what you do. You ain't who you are. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Amen. I ain't, I ain't, Indeed. Indeed. I can dig Indeed. that. I can dig that. How long you been doing the music? Man, since I was in third grade, man, if I want to be honest. That's okay. when I first decided I wanted to do music because my auntie, she was, uh, she was her her group was signed to like Balthazar and Harmony back in the day. Oh, okay. that's deep. Yeah, Relay, that was the name of that group. So okay. she, they was like modern day, like, she was like a modern day celebrity to me. Hey, man. <laughs> she shook hands with everybody, so... Having that so close, you know what I'm saying? And then she, you know, went and did her little stretch. I kind of wanted to take, you know, I even named, I even took her name and everything. I ain't even know it. That's what's so crazy. <laughs> I didn't even know her name was Slick V. Uh, and then and it I, it, I didn't know that was her name. I just told myself I was Slick, you know what I mean? My name started with a V. Mm -hmm. And then she came home like, nah, bro, that ain't me. <laughs> <laughs> hold up, now you hold it down <laughs> while I would go. <laughs> while I would go. I'm, I'm back, back. back. I'm back now. Let me but, get that. Yeah, and then my uncle, he he uh he always did music. He sat me in the room was like, "No, nah, you gonna learn how to engineer. You gonna learn how to do this shit yourself." And I was like, I'm using Pro Tools since I was like eleven. Damn. Yeah, dead ass. Mm. Dead That's ass. What's up. I didn't go to school for it until I came home from prison. But, yeah. Yeah, I decided I wanted to go to school. You know what I mean? Right. Right. Was you still able to, you know, like focus in and and try and work and create on music? Why? During that little stint while you was locked down, or was it something where you just kind of had well, to block me and this music, shit out? Our relationship is like anytime, because I ain't gonna lie, man, I took to the streets at a very young age. So when it seems like every time I'm at my lowest, like music is the, the one thing that's there to console me. Ain't it? The ain't one it. thing that's there for me. Ain't and nothing like it. I wrote some of my best hit, some of my best music down the road, you know what mm -hmm. I mean? 
Facts. Yeah. I can believe that shit, man. Ain't and no I you don't really have a choice, you know what I'm saying? Doing that much time. Everybody down there, it's every every single person. Because I performed the whole time I was there. I was performing. That was my first time performing, actually, in prison. I ain't like 2,500 people. I ain't Damn. Damn. Hey. So that right there, it actually broke any kind of stage fright. Oh, you still get butterflies every you now and then. I always go get butterflies. Hey, I don't care you don't get if it's the butterflies, it's a wrap. Right. When you stop getting the butterflies, right. right. That's what they say. Hang it up. That's right. What they say. Right. They say, hang yeah, it up I don't care if it's three people. I'm always get butterflies. But I'm gonna be honest with you, it it wasn't. I didn't crave wanting like a fan base until I was at Astro World. When I seen Travis Scott perform and the way he had his. His crowd and the way he moved yeah, and people is, like it's just, it's just I had never blowing. seen nothing like even Drake concert. I've been in, I went to Drake concert and I ain't even gonna lie like Drake is like my favorite artist, but stage performance, stage presence, he ain't got it. You know mm. what I mean? Travis Scott though, I don't care what nobody say. He is like one of the best performers. Yeah. Mm. How you feel about all the slack he getting right now? Like you know what I'm saying with the Astro the World. last joint Astro that he had World. the Astro World. I mean, I, feel I, like I think like it, people on a bandwagon to hop on. It know, ain't the man's man fault. Right. Definitely ain't his fault. They said he was in the air, so he couldn't hardly see none of it. At the end of the day, man, Astro Road is a rave. It's you a, had no business taking rave. your children to no rave. Mm. At the end of the day, it was negligence. You know what I'm saying? I would have never had my nine. I've been there. I would have never had my you know nine year old at no rave, man. I was at the I was at uh when I was at Astro World, I was in, I was on the floor, right by the stage. It's, it's, it had a bag of ice. Like they really like turned up. Like you not you can't do that. You know what I mean? You can't yeah. do it. It wasn't smart. Nah. I mean, how you gonna blame Tra Travis Scott because you had your child on your shoulders and you passed out? Mm. Like, what? That's crazy. Yeah, he passed that's out. Crazy. Like, it's not that man's fault. Like, you know what I mean? And he's smart by not making a comment. You know what I mm -hmm. mean? Hey man. That's that's the best thing he could do. That's the best Just thing he could do. Because he damn sure been laying low out and the at way. At the end of the day, it's like, bro, like it's not even just him. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, it is what it is. It it comes from the territory, but I feel like at the end of the day, he a rock star, and that proves it. Like I put on a that's hell of a rock show. Star mm. shit. Exactly, yeah. bro. That they ain't talking about all that. T I bet you the Beatles did it. Right. I right. bet right. you the Beatles did it. Right. 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 You know what I'm saying? Right. What I mean, I kiss? Would they be sticking their tongues out? Right. They uh, did it. Uh, I right. know they did oh, it. There's no doubt. For the ones that don't know, what is a rave? A rave is like a... A oh, fucking... A big... I don't. I honestly don't even know how to describe it. Like that's a great question because I a rave is like a fat ass party, like a fat ass party, an uncontrolled, it's a huge, it's uncontrolled. Everybody's on drugs. It's like yeah, like, kids ain't supposed to be there. But what? Right. No. <laughs> no. Man, I was in like three mosh pits. I was in like three mosh pits. Yeah, the raves kids. are like ultimate Three parties, nigga. Nah, kids ain't supposed to That's be there. That's a dangerous situation to be in a mosh pit. Right. So you got your kids there. So honestly, the people at the door. If you ask me, whoever was at the door. That's who need to get sued. Mm -hmm. They should have said no. Right. Nah, you, you gonna have to. I don't know. <laughs> well, get your refund. Or something. Figure it out. Like, Figure I don't know. Send right. Right. Yeah, man. Yeah, I, I, I can say though, definitely, in this day and age, any type of publicity ain't gonna do nothing but help your pockets. Yeah, it's you and that's deep. Saying? And that's deep. Period. That shit yeah. ain't gonna do nothing but help Period. his pockets. Period. Because he's gonna keep trending. He trending. Trending. Keep trending. 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 Keep trending. trending. And then not only that, but see, I be thinking about shit like, bro, like I done seen. They gave this man all this slack and shit, and I'm not trying to compare, you know, different artists and stuff, but like you were saying, I, I've seen with my own two eyes Michael Jackson concerts where these motherfuckers is done passed out, right. fainted, they right. Right. lifting folks, right. carrying folks up out there, ambulances coming, grabbing folks, they crying. bro. it come with the territory when you that big of a star. Right. And you got... 30, 40,000 people. And how can I even see that shit? How you expect for me to see that shit? All these mosh pits going on? How I know that wasn't even no mosh pit? Right. How you expect for me to... I'm all the way on stage, and I'm trying. I'm really not even really paying the, attention right, to that. Because the lights is glaring all in your Then they said he was in the skylight yeah. thing. Bro, like, like, yeah, he I was in the air. Shit, bro. Like, come on, bro. Like, you want... Y'all really make... To be honest with you, the court of public opinion is really... Annoying as fuck. Bro, that's what we see. Like, the, it's annoying as fuck, bro. Our topic of the day is expectations, right? And, and that's what I was initially saying. Like, motherfucker, how motherfuckers got expectations 
about other people. Don't put your expectations off on me, my boy. Right. You feel I say that me? all the right. time. Right. Please don't me? do that. Because right. I don't care enough. What's up with that? Like that's like that seems like that's what's going on in the world. Like everybody got an expectation for somebody else other than they got damn self. Right. They, they're projecting their lack of self love off on you. Mm. Yeah. They don't love themselves enough not to be worried about your business. Mm. The I deep can dig. Side talk one on one. Dig that. Hey, Amen. Man. I can dig that shit. Should be told because if you're honest, if you get some money, you really not worried about nobody. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah, you not worried about nobody. Okay you're then, about them folks. I'm telling uh, you. How did you come up with the name Rich Champagne? Uh, Rich. Um, okay, so my name is Rich. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what I that's what I go by. Okay. Mm-hmm. And Rich to me is like a. Uh, What's the, it's like I'm putting that out in my vibration, you know what I mean, so I can get it back. Rich I mean? vibes, rich vibes, you know what I mean, and uh, rich and wealthy, you know what I'm saying. Mm. But rich champagne, it's like I'm champagne rich, you know what I'm saying. Right. You know, champagne, that's like a different level of money, you know what I mean. You got right. your, you got your tequilas, you got your, you know what I mean. But I'm champagne rich. I'm, right. I'm a different yeah. level of rich now. Hey, you know what I, mean? I can dig that. Hey, I, yeah. Hey man, they say you know a name, uh, a name say a lot. You know what I mean. So Absolutely. I can dig that. Um, how, it's how you feel about yourself. It's how you want the world to perceive you. It's how, it's what it's pretty much what you want the universe to give you back. It's what hey. you put. And, and you that's what people spirit. calling you twenty four seven. Hey man, yep. what people calling you? So what if you named yourself broke? Right. Like, people calling you broke twenty four seven. What you think you gonna be, my man? Man, bro. you just said something, but you know something. Believe it is a. It's some folks out here really be calling themselves that. I be man, I be like, bro, do you really know what you're speaking on yourself, broke shouty? But you know, <laughs> but you know what? Crazy. I, I ain't even gonna put no, you know what I mean? I ain't gonna put people out there, but I be saying that all the time. Like, broke is a mentality. It's it not is. Even a, it's not even a way of being. It's yep. a state of mind. You exactly. Know I mean? it's like, people will, okay, people have in their mind that they want help so bad that right. they forget that they can get it on their own. Ooh. So they putting out there that they ain't got it so much so that they actually doing everything that they can to prove that they broke. Soon as they get their money, they got to hurry up and spend it because I'm broke. Right. You know I mean, I got to hurry up and spend it because I'm broke. I'm in this mm. state of mind. I'm in a reprobate state of being because I'm broke. I need you to believe I'm broke. Why? Because I need help. Why? Because I don't believe in myself enough to go get it. So I need help. I'm in a state of needing motherfucking help. I, you know something? I like that too because even with being rich, a lot of people don't know it's it's a mentality. Hey. You know, you got people that live on the street right now that's rich in spirit. Yeah. But you got people that got money. I'm talking about so much money, they don't know what to do with it. They be trying to come up with all kind of crazy yeah. stuff. But guess what? They're poor in spirit though. Yeah, they broke. They, they poor in spirit. You know what I'm saying? So it's that's my philosophy. That, man, people ain't got them. They're not taking no time to smell the flowers. The thing is, it is, is it's like if you live every single day of your life chasing money, you really don't think about it till you get locked up for real. Mm. All the things that you could have been doing with your right. money. Mm. You spent every single day getting money. You forgot to eat. What, what the first day you think about when you get in there? What you <laughs> want to eat? You, right. you forgot to eat all them days. You know what I'm saying? That you was out there hustling. Chasing. You forgot all the, the jet skis that you want to ride. You forgot all about that stuff because you still want to chase money. But truth be told, you know what I'm saying? You want to go ride a jet ski, it costs $200. I'm pretty sure you had $200 one day. Why you ain't going to do it? Why you ain't going to do it? Why you ain't going to do it? What they say, you don't miss what you have until it's it's gone. Amen. Yeah. And you know, I don't even want to hear that right now. My girl just told me that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so what you do for Valentine's Day, speaking of your girl? How was your Valentine's Day? You know what? It actually turned out to be all right because and I'm, I'm te- technically I ain't got no girl right now, but technically she ain't going nowhere, you know what I mean? But she surprised <laughs> me by pulling up on me. Oh, what's she? You know what it's mean? love then. It's love. I'm shouting out right now by saying this, you know what I'm saying? So hey, man. You know, hey, yes, man. you ain't got to get no hey. name. Y'all to know who the shout is. What's going on, man? Hey, man. But, yeah, she she, she said that she tried to say, uh, yeah, I ain't know what I had till uh, she tried to. And I'm like, man, it wasn't that, man. I knew what I had the whole time, you know what I mean? And it, I be telling you, hindsight, hindsight is a motherfucker, man. But like I say, Jay, everything... The situation where I say stop and smell the flowers, they go hand in hand with relationships as well too. 
Yeah. Because some, you, when you, especially when you get to the point where a lot of people, when they get and have financial hardships, they forget to be emotional towards their significant other. Amen. They forget Ooh. to cater to their emotions. Man, you just said something. Because they don't worry about it. Just, package, uh, you just you know said something. Saying? They, just, just they said. ripping and running. And your there. folks ain't thinking about that. Your folks right. worrying about they how crazy you just talked to them. Right. How you, how you just you forgot. Out. Exactly. Right. How you ain't call them. Uh, paying check attention. On, check on them all day. Uh, how you snapped on them. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. All them times add up. Man. Like, damn, like, and you like, baby, I was just trying to get some paper and they like, shit. Yeah, nigga. I, I can't keep shit. giving a fuck about that shit, nigga. Mm -hmm. hey, man. That's real shit, dog. Like, yeah. I, I, I had to learn that my motherfucking self, you know what I'm saying, in my relationship. Because, you know, I just a hustle and bustle. Always on go, always on go. Right. Sometimes, you know, say so you fuck around and forget home, bro. Man, what? <laughs> but then the flip side of that coin is, is females don't even understand that we even stressed out because we got you. Because we trying to go so hard to make sure to we make keep, sure we keep to you. make sure we keeping you good because it make us feel some type Thank of way you. we feel like we can't Thank provide you, for home. Thank you, my dog. Feel me? We Thank feel like you. we can't provide for home. We beating ourselves up. We talking ourselves crazy. We feel like all kind of crazy ass bum man nigga. You ain't gotta feel like it. We feel like it. You know what I mean? So yo, we take it out on you. You know what I'm saying? It ain't right no which way, but. The thing, the key word is understand, overstanding. Overstand. Overstand. You're not understanding because we ain't placing ourselves below anything. Yeah. You know hey, man. Hey, dropping man. rich game over here. This this rich hey, game. For real. And, and when I, I say game, a, a lot of people don't realize yeah, sure that. <laughs> it's sure. the game of life. You know, because a lot of people, when they hear people talking about running game and all this, let me give you some game. Mm -hmm. But it's life. I'm giving you some stuff that can carry you. You know what I'm saying? You, and every, you know, what you dropping right now, it even touched me because it made me even reflect on times, you know, where I've been at it. Just like you said, Scrub, and I hadn't been catering. Like, I'm, you know what I'm saying? And I'm thinking I'm doing the... The big part. Because you provide. Right. Cause yeah. You're small and yeah. you provide. You, you know. You're supposed to be straight. <laughs> right. <laughs> ain't but you it, happy? <laughs> but in reality, she like, nigga, no, you, no. nigga, you ain't gave me a hug. Right. <laughs> you you like, ain't kidding me. You gave me a peck on the cheek. Just a little peck. Uh, that was mine. So she said, what that is? What that is? You know what I'm saying? So, mm -hmm. man, good. You forgetting to beat it up. You used to beat it up three, <laughs> three four times a week, nigga. Hey, now man. we all doing the one, street. nigga. You hey, tripping. Hey, no, man. man. You right. Bro. Say, man, so y'all take notes on that, man. Make sure you take time out for whoever that is in your life. You know what I'm saying? Because you never That's know. Too. You know what I'm saying? You never know. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. Uh, you got on um, any projects out? You know any? I definitely do. So I got a, a EP I dropped. Uh, I got an EP I dropped a couple. Well, I dropped it in LA, as a matter of fact. Okay, mm. then. I dropped it not too long after I got to LA. And then I dropped a song when I got, right before I got back to Georgia. Right, be, right before I got back to Atlanta, I dropped a song called Feel the Void. Feel the void. Yeah, yeah, I met a guy out uh, in L.A. He was actually my personal trainer. Shout out to Trevor. He was my personal trainer. He was going through it. I'm talking about going through it. So I kind of wrote a song, like, mm. inspiration wow. to his relationship. You mm. know what I mean? That's what's How up. he liked it? Man, he loved it. Hey, man. Like, he loved it. Probably keep it on repeat. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Hey, while, he, while he working out, too. Hey, man. You already know up. that's how he going. But he Carpe going. Diem, you know what I mean? I was like... Uh, a tribute to me because I'm a very spontaneous and free spirit person. Like, even me moving to LA, I just picked up one day and decided that all right, baby, we finna go to LA. And we mm. packed up in my car and we drove to LA. Mm. Yeah, I mean, that was like a, a very, like, very last minute decision, but I'm not, I don't regret it at all because of the people that I met, because of the experience, because just smelling the LA air. Yeah. I ain't even gonna lie, I feel homesick. <laughs> just being back in Atlanta, I feel homesick. You feel like you need to be back out on the way. I, yeah, I do. Right, because they act clean out there, right? It is. That's I heard. You yeah, know, like a lot cleaner. The trucks out there, you know, it got to line up every year. Like if your truck mm -hmm. ain't line up, you can't even can't be even out here. here. Right, right. It's That's not. A, it's it's just a. It's a lot to play. Even the heat. You know the. It's it's hot all day and it's cold mm -hmm. at night. Don't you think that's how the weather's supposed yeah. to be? Right. And I can roll up the gas. Right. Walk right. down the street smoking. You can be talking to the officers smoking. Right. Now that's deep, yeah. Gotta yeah. Love Amen. That. Amen. Gotta love that. So, like I said, the word of the day is expectations. So I'm gonna ask you: um, 
do you have any expectations for Rent Champagne for 2022? If so, what, what what are some of the expectations that you have put on yourself? Uh, the expectations I was put on myself is pretty much like to go full throttle with this music. You know That's what I mean? It. Because I've been yeah. doing my music since I was third grade, but I haven't. I've went full throttle in the streets plenty of times but I haven't taken time to go full throttle on this music. Mm. Music. Pretty much, that's what I'm doing. And you know you got Full something. throttle, videos, Yeah. you know what I mean? I done, I've been doing shows, I ain't even gonna lie, but videos, um, more interviews, more just being an artist, more just mm-hmm. stepping into, stepping into, what's the word that I'm looking for? Your artistry. Stepping into my purpose. Hey Amen. I like ah, that. I like, I like that. that. Stepping into my purpose. Stepping into who I'm meant to be. Because I'm going to tell you, right before I got out of prison, I, um, right before I got out of prison, right? <laughs> I don't even... Is you going to be able to blur out my real name if I say it? <laughs> okay. Yeah. You can't... <laughs> yeah. yeah, I do. I always do. But right before I got out of prison... um. I was reading the Daily Bread. Mm-hmm. I'm not necessarily a Christian, but during the time, you know, yeah. when you in there, you, you, find, you, you, yeah. find you need it. You know yes. what I mean? But, okay, so I was in there, and I read the uh, the Daily Bread for that day. It was like 2015. It was, uh, I want to say it was July, July or June or July something, 2015. Mm-hmm. But it said, um, me and my niece, Vanille, that's my name, mm-hmm. me and my niece, Vanille, was riding down the highway, and it was a sign. This is right before I got out. Didn't even know I was getting out. It said, and the sign said, what is your purpose? And it was like, the word of the day is purpose. You purpose. need to find your purpose before you, pretty much saying, before I get out, before I decide, before I walk out in the streets again, I need to decide. You need to decide what your purpose exactly. is. Exactly. And decide if I'm going to step in it or if I'm going to play. You yeah, man, listen. They know they know my formula. Passion plus purpose equal pride. Hey, Amen. That's so, how it is with me. You already got a passion. Like you said, you've been doing this shit since third grade. Nigga, that's the passion. That shit, that, it, it's come natural. But when you understand and find your purpose, that's when all that other stuff that you're seeing, that you're envisioning, that God is giving you, that's when you start to, that's when that shit come to life. Amen. That's when it just start happening. You be like, okay. Amen. I, I exactly. see what's going on. I see what's Amen. going on. Amen. Exactly. And stick to the code. I know that's how you're going to do it. I, You know, you, you, since I've met you, you've been real. Like, I didn't know your story. You know what I'm saying? You know, you meet people all the time. You know, you work with people and stuff mm-hmm. like that. But you can you can sense realness. There's so much fake in this motherfucking world. You can you you automatically gravitate Amen. to realness mm-hmm. when you a real motherfucker. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I'm glad to have you come out on the podcast to come rock with us tell your story bro like for real and uh if we can do anything to help you support you keep you pushing through this shit man you know what it is let us know let us know hey man and tell the people where they can uh where they can find you you know or even download some of your music okay i'm on uh spotify i'm on uh i'm on all platforms spotify title apple music youtube uh, Rich Champagne, if you want to find my EP, I think it's under uh, Rich Champagne. No, it's under, as a matter of fact, it's under uh, <laughs> Richie Supreme, because I did just recently change my name, man. Y'all know who that go, man. Don't judge me. <laughs> I just recently changed my name from Richie Supreme, so y'all be able to find the Carpe Diem EP under Richie Supreme, but you'll be able to find Fill the Void and any music here further under Rich Champagne. Yeah. R-X-C-H Champagne, one word. Okay. You'll be able to find me on uh, all platforms and Big Rich to God on Instagram. Yeah. Okay, then. Yeah, man. Follow Shout out IG, to the big man. God. You know hey. what I'm saying? Um, Definitely going to be checking out for the new music. For sure. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Um, I know LA waiting for you. Oh, get yeah. Back. You know what I'm saying? Shit, take me next time you go. Hey. I'm trying to get out to the West my damn self. For sure. You know for sure. I'm, I'm definitely trying to go back. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as possible, I got to get me a house in the hills. That's the rich life. Amen. You know what I'm saying? For sure. But we thank you for coming again Amen. to the Stocker Talk podcast, man. And big ups and stay blessed. I appreciate you, bro. Show, bro. Love. Love. That way. Hey. Yeah. Amen. <laughs>
introduce it and come and bring uh-uh. it in. But, he told me to stop doing that. Definitely not. I know. messed up. Nah, you did it. You hey. you was doing it right, Nitty. Okay. So I got you. So <laughs> go ahead, take two, Street Nitty. Hey man, you really? <laughs> <laughs> hey man, what it do, man? We going live, man. We on the second top podcast. What it do, man? We got rich life, man, man in the building. Well, hey, it's a pleasure and an honor to have you on the show, guys. Much dog. appreciated, my brother. Hey man, we've been I've been seeing the movement for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Um, first I want to salute you. You know what I'm saying? I see you. You know you just opened up your studio. You know you got a place you can call your own now. Um, event center, um, rising network. You know, I ain't gonna get too rise deep. Start. Yeah, rise, rise, rise and start yeah. network. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I've been seeing you doing a lot. You know, what I'm saying so. Definitely, I felt like we definitely need to get them on the podcast. You know, sure, what I'm saying it. and Absolutely. share your story. You know, yeah. what I'm saying so. Tell the people who you is. Oh man, who am I? Who who is rich life? A vessel from God. That's first and foremost. Amen. You know, what I'm saying entertainment wise, I'm everything. Like I, I can't, I can't really be like, hey, I do. I'm, I'm literally. Tell them who you is. I'm everything, man. I'm a screenwriter. I'm a movie director, uh, artist, club host, club promoter, uh, content creator, uh, CEO of a television network, Rising Star Network. We on Roku. We on Five Stick. We on the apps. Um, yeah, and the head CEO of, of, of Rising Star Network. That's what I'm on. Just an uh, uh, right everyday now. hustler, entrepreneur, go yes, get it. And the entertainment bit. And where you from? Detroit, of course. What up, though? Hey, Amen. Hey. What up, though? Outburst. Oh God! What up, though? He got he yeah he yeah we have our that's how life is man that's, that's, how, that's life. the D for you, you life know. is full of outbursts they say we can't play yeah, Detroit man. women no well but I tell you it's a big up well man you definitely you definitely have been leaving your leaving your stamp. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you've For been sure. leaving your stamp, definitely. You know, Absolutely. whenever I hear any any movement or anything with Detroit in it or rich life is somewhere in that motion. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, I want to definitely salute you. You know, uh, especially being that you, if you, I don't know if it's cool for me to talk about it. You Let's know, talk about it. That's all you, you know, you just did. I know you just did like a 14 ten, and a half. fourteen years and you're a fourteen Woo! year bid. You know Welcome what I'm saying? Home, boy. And yeah, jump. Lord. Yeah, you know, how was that transition? You know what I'm saying? That ain't a place for no man. Let's be honest, man. I want, like. <laughs> what we got going on, man? Really? No, it wasn't. It was all these cameras <laughs> on. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it's well, okay. She moving she, uh, hey, <laughs> I need to have my camera for this. Sorry. No, no, sorry. Hey, hey, shorty, shorty, please stay right there and don't touch anything. Like I bring you out tonight. It's my first time with you. Let's come on. Be professional. Thank, please, and thank you. Right. We understand you know it happened. Yeah. Hey, but, so uh, what we need to do? She, she good. Oh, okay. We good. Okay. It's live. It's shitty. We don't do no edits. We don't do no censorship. We don't do none of that kind of stuff. Just live and direct. Live yeah. and raw, man. Amen. Raw shit. Amen. Amen. So it is what it is. But yeah, back to your story, man. 14. We home now. Home now, man. And it's all by the grace of God. And that's why, like, it's one thing to to put on a persona and it's one thing to really walk that walk mm-hmm. and, and down that valley. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's why I'm so I'm able to really relate to a lot of people on different just different levels in general because I've been I've been down through there. I've experienced a lot. Yeah. At a young age though. I want you to join at fourteen. Mm, I was one of the first ones in Detroit that got tried as an adult. But I'm a juvenile. I'm a young nigga. I, I grew up in there. You know what I'm saying? And I got a whole history with even with writing movies and shit. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I wrote probably like nine movie scripts in prison. The funny thing about it is, before I went to prison, I got laced. I was smoking. I got laced at like 12 years old. So from 12 to 14, I was like fucked up in the head. I was putting in special ed. So 12. somebody had done laced, laced yeah. your blunt or some shit? Laced, laced the blunt. Mm. 
Yeah. And you ain't know the shit. I, know. Just, I just you with the I homies and out. shit, yeah. and, and hit the blunt. These niggas ain't tell you what the fuck in the shit. They they got a woo woo on your ass. They got a woo woo. And the funny thing is, about this yeah. is my first time though. I grew oh, up so this was your first time smoking first time weed. Smoking period, period. Oh period. man, that bad bitch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. my That's boy. Weird. Like, and that 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 was the beginning of rich life. Cause I grew up in the, in the churches, like playing the drums in the church. Like right. I, was, I was that nigga. And after I got late, I was just I was a lost soul, my nigga. Like for real, for real. And I wound up going to prison. It's funny because throughout prison, nigga, I was a game bang, and I was on max damn mm -hmm. near these fourteen years. My a year before it was time for me to get out, like I got sick as shit. I had colitis, my stomach. I wound up getting blood clots in my legs and lungs. Long story short, I was on my deathbed. Like nigga, I'm getting like home home visits from not home visits but phone visits. Right. From the hospital to be in the prison, man. Like a year before it was time for me to get out, and I just made a plea with God, and I was like, God, I ain't perfect, but shit, give me a second chance in life. You know what I'm saying? So I stopped taking the medicine. My my story is deep, man. But the book coming out, the ride to my trouble. You know, and man, you actually yeah. got a movie. It's my you page got publishing. Yeah, hey, and, I, and I was I got the movie, the movie out right now. You you can check that out man, on demand anywhere. Roku, Fire Stick, and it's. It's kind of watered down. It ain't my real story. That's why I say the book. Cause yeah. the movie is just. Uh, but the book gonna be more in depth. The book is more in depth, big bro. Hey man, man, that's what's up, man. But hey yeah, man. it's a story. It's a story, man, behind the madness. Hey man, bro. and I also see that um, you. It was another movie that you was in. This movie here, I think it did like over a million views. Mm. Uh, what's the name of the movie? The Come Up. It's the funny Come you Up. Say that because the Come Up. Yeah. That movie came like me fresh out, fresh out. And just first out of the joint, and, and I was just saved as God because I just ran into a guy like in the club. You know what wow. I'm saying? I'm for real, and I'm like, look, man, I'm a rapper. I got movie scripts. And he like, damn, you know what? One of my partners, he looking for somebody to write a movie. And you know what I'm saying? And he was him. So he wanted to introduce me to the guy. And we sat down, man. I got crumbs for the movie. I can say it now because I don't give a shit. That was yeah, just that's what it is. But the come up movie, man, I wrote that. I got awards for that shit. It was the independent, number one independent hood movie in America for that year. Mm. We on you. That's what you take with it. Amen. Yeah, that's what YouTube. you take with That's right. Yeah. You know what I'm that's right. So fuck them crumbs. And right. Four, four <laughs> and a half stars name, on boy. Amazon right now. <laughs> but that was, my, yeah. that was my first step to far as tapping into the entertainment world coming from that lifestyle, mm -hmm. incarceration, man, and it, it it went from there. Like, you know, it's dope though. I, I I love how you you know mentioned, like you said, you know, you was down bad, and uh, you had that conversation with God. Yes, sir. See, a lot of people, we, if you've been down bad and you had that conversation with God, if you know about that conversation that you and God have, where you where you talk about, you know, like you said, give me another chance. I do right. If you just give me another chance, mm -hmm. I do right. And it's almost like God done already made the promise for you. You making the promise to God. Now, as long as you hold your end up to the promise, mm -hmm. preach. You gonna be good forever. You know what I'm saying? And it's dope uh -huh. that, you know, because I, I can I can tell that you walk a different life. Nobody's perfect. We all sin. He know that. Hey. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. He know that. But I'm just the the heart of the man. You know what I'm saying? The mm -hmm. mind of the man is different now. You know what I'm saying? And I respect that. You know what I'm saying? Especially from where you come from to, because I, I done seen you around just like Nitty say, you know what I'm saying? You're respectful. You 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 holler to everybody. You show love to everybody. You know, you you know I ain't never seen you, you know, really on no like hostile, like wild, crazy type shit. So to have, to come from, like you said, that, and to be the man you are today, man, salute to that, bro. Amen. You know Appreciate it. Salute to that Amen. shit, for real. Big up. And I, I, you know, I want nothing but success for you, man. You know, with the films, with the music. I know that shit probably get overwhelming. Man, it's um, let me say this. It's definitely, I'm so, it's definitely overwhelming. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> See, we be like, oh, I want to do this and I want to do that. And, and then when, when it comes, it's like, <laughs> oh, me. shit. It's here. It, then I think about, I say, well, you know what, God? You ain't gonna put too much of me that I can't handle for once, but I also asked for it. And just to comment on what you said, if that's okay, because I'm gonna tell you, when you say like, you know, with, even with me making this plea with God, like I came home and okay, I got in a position. I started being doing the promoting things in Detroit, and I moved to California, and I'm doing all this and that. And it's like last year, I just felt like 
I had stopped in a sense, but mentally stopped evolving. Mm. But I ain't understand why. You know what I'm saying? And I'm moving around and I'm I'm overworking myself right. in a sense in Atlanta. And like one night, bro, and this is a true story because I don't do cap, man. I just, I went to sleep and I woke up and I woke up when I woke up, I was just crying. I woke up with like tears down my face and everything. But that was like my awakening because I, I heard the small, still voice like, Rick, I love what you're doing, but don't forget you said this. You, mm. you signed this contract with me, big fella. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. So, <laughs> so, yeah. So, let's do it. Let me give y'all the real. And Amen. like, I, I'm telling my homegirl, like, she, why you crying? And I don't know. It was just my spirit was telling me, it's like, you're doing great things, but you ain't doing what you signed up for. Mm. So, I converted. I ain't convert. I, I, I became my true calling. Yeah. And I started going to the clubs and I started doing this whole gospel. Hip hop, mm -hmm. I like to call it gospel because it's, mm -hmm. it's inspirational. Inspirational, but nobody they just like damn. Even my homeboys, I lost so many friends, old fake friends last year. When I converted from this, oh, I ain't giving you that no more. Mm -hmm. And I'm talking about save me from me mm -hmm. and amen to this and that. I lost, I lost so many people last year, but in the midst of losing them, I gained so many. You feel me? And then it was like okay. So I'm gonna try this, this is what it is. And then God just started blessing me more. You know what I'm saying? Amen. It went from me trying to pay a guy to put my movie on his Roku to, huh, I'm gonna get your own channel. Mm. I'm gonna get your own your own network. Now get do what you do, do with it. Do what you like, gonna do with it. But it started with that, man. Let's just be honest. I had a spiritual awakening last year, and then I was just start seeing these numbers, just one, 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 one. Like everywhere I go. I started, I went through that phase, man, and it was all just to be where I'm at now. And I'm not even saying this boasting because anybody know me, I'm humble, but I got a movement that's strong. But it's so strong because God is behind it. Absolutely. Amen. He, it's not rich life. I ain't that great of a nigga. It's God behind this movement I got right now. And every day we growing and growing and growing. And it's like God was just setting me down and, and setting me up. And putting you in position. Yeah. So that's why I tell you, I'm the best. So I ain't got to be a uh, mean, uh, the biggest rapper or the biggest movie director or this and that. God is just using me, you know what I'm saying, to be with his people, man, to, and to be able to inspire and be able to be uplifting in the living testimony. So that's where I'm at. I'm content with being able to help somebody. Amen. Real yeah, talk, bro. Amen. Being great, you know what yeah, I'm saying, fulfilling your purpose. That's when, you know, when you, when you, we honored you with a award at the you Green did. Carpet you Experience. You gave my first award, bro. And when we did that, you know, when we did the Green Carpet Experience, we didn't vote for people. I seen people that I felt like was putting in work and was doing what they did, and Breaking I felt out. like you didn't need to be voted for. Yeah. I felt like um, your leg, because your leg was messed up yep. at the time. We had mm -hmm. one for you, too. Yep. But I felt like these people already done put in their work. You know, why somebody got to vote for them? You know what I'm saying? Not knocking the voting system, but we give them flowers. Yeah, you know sure. what I'm saying? Yeah, sure. So that's where we get. I wanted to give you that. And then it was fuel, too. It was fuel. Because we didn't only do it for people that had already been in the game for a long time. We also did it for people who had just got in the game. But if you got in the game and you jumped out the porch and you started running and never looked back, we wanted to inspire you Absolutely. to keep on running. If you already been in the game for years and you still and you never let down, we want to inspire you and thank you for what you have what contributed. You, you know what I'm saying? So that was the whole purpose of the green carpet experience. That's when they were called the green carpet experience because we wanted to give people that royalty. And maybe one day I might, we might come back with that. You know what I'm saying? If the creator lead me that way, mm -hmm. you know, I stopped because, you know, in my spirit, I heard, okay, enough, you know, mm -hmm. you done did what I want you to do. You done bless people. You know, kind of like what you said, and I ain't going to take no time more because this your show right here is about you, but I made a 
decision and said that I was going to be a servant of the most high. And when I did it, man, you know, I heard, well, man, the biggest thunder, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like he was, it was like he was sending the thunder to, uh, through the house. Mm -hmm. And I, and I heard like, this is some serious now, you know, this serious, big business here, you know what I'm saying? And I never forgot that. Cause I cried like a baby. When mm -hmm. I heard that, when they heard that big boom, <laughs> and that, I'm talking about the house, yeah, like the house shook. When I heard that big boom and the house shook like that, I was like, man, the father's serious. I was like, I don't, did, did what I want to do, though. But what he did was, and that's when my, my purpose, like you have been always fulfilling, that's when I came to you, too, and let you know, like, you know, ain't nothing wrong with being rich life. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You yeah, know, right, don't right. throw the whole rich life away. You know what I'm saying? That's when I'm glad you went rich life, man, man, the vessel. You know what I'm saying? Because you want to be able to enjoy who the creator has created you to be. A lot of times the world put um, like a stimulation on you that you got to do it this way and that way. But the world shouldn't dictate to us how we should serve our master, our creator. You see what I'm saying? Because it's a personal thing. It's about relationship. So you don't have to serve like I serve. I don't have to serve like you serve. That's true. You see what I'm saying? It's all about fellowship. You know what I'm saying? So, man, keep doing what you're doing, man. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people out here watching. You know, you're inspiring. Yes, you know you what are. I'm saying? And, and no matter how long you on the earth, you always going to have something in you. You know what I'm saying? All of us got something in that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, hey, every night, hey I told I told Scrub, man, you know, when we brought you on, you know, just seeing you moving, man, you know, we definitely need to share this with the world, with our view. So you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like for real, for real. And I seen uh like so you said how many movies? I got a total of four. Four. But the first one was the most successful to mm -hmm. today that I got the awards for the time. Hey, man. How do you you know when it when when you know when you're coming up with these movies and, and, and casting and things like that, um do you like have like a, a built in network or do you like have to do cast and calls and things like that to get your actors and actors. Like, to be honest, in Detroit, it was like we kind of we paid a little extra. Because mm -hmm. we basically, when I wrote the script and I pitched it, like, we want him, we want them. Right. They're going to charge. Here, like, when I did the, uh, the Rise for My Troubles, for example, mm -hmm. it's like everybody that's in that part of that project that had decent roles i didn't really have to do a casting for it because it was like either family or relationship but zane as family i got a, a big history with him you know what i'm saying like on just on the whole on the family, family. Mm -hmm. and shit, baby shout D, out to zane yeah, baby shout D, out to baby D, D. D. Yep. and then solo lucci that's my real shout out to solo so, lucci yeah like them, them people i didn't have to do the extra with the casting call with this project that i'm currently filming here which is life with the bag I, and it's so funny because this is my second go round with it. Mm -hmm. Because, like, I did a casting call, and, and, and then just with entertainment in general, you have those that have great intentions and want to do this, but they just, they want, it's almost like when you want the success, but you don't want to put in the groundwork. That's it. That's, That's it. it. That's you know it. So no work. It's like, I want to be in this movie, <laughs> Rich Life. Okay, we got to shoot tomorrow. We got to shoot here. And sometimes when you want this, you got to make your schedule flexible to do it. <laughs> That's because it. It's called sacrifice. That's it. And I didn't have it in the first uh, half of the production. Gotcha. So I just restart filming that project, and mm -hmm. that one was based on yeah, it's a casting call, and and then a little bit of me just being conscious and knowing okay, you're a bullshitter, you see it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, <laughs> learning, right. Right. Yeah, learn expectation. Basically. Our word for today is expectation. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you done learned kind of what they expect from these yeah, okay. people. You see what yeah. I'm saying? And, and yeah. one thing about the expectation, we talked about, you know, we always expecting good stuff, you know, yeah. but there's always a trick side to the expectation yeah, too. Sure. So you have learned for yourself, okay, I'm not setting me up. You know what I'm saying? Not. I'm not expecting this out of this one. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I can expect this out yeah, of this sure. one. You know what I'm saying? But it just come with time. And Amen. Amen. And this is the thing about rich life, man. And I'm not even capping. This is why, and I never do this to me because I'm so humble and I know God is like using me. But I can't remember the time I got more than three, four hours of sleep. Mm. 
Mm. Like, and I'm just being real. I can't, I can't like, and I've been here almost close to three years to now. I cannot recall the time when I was able to say, hey, I got me four hours or five hours of sleep and I'm energized because it's it's a constant go, go thing with me. And then even though I got a television network and I got a whole movement, man, shout out to Rising Star Network, and we working and, you know, and God working for us and we evolving, but it's like even with that movement, I am, I'm literally everything. So when I yep. say I'm the vessel, I'm the guy that's going to write the content. I'm the guy that's going to shoot the content, that's going to edit the content, and that's going to put it on the network. And this is no cap, bro. And they be like, how you can't stop for what? I sat down all them years. I ain't stopped. Hey, the God I, I, I can time, feel so. you. I can you feel, feel you on that. So that's why a lot of people kind of. I can they, feel yeah, that. They, 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 they gravitate to me. It's one thing to be on the outside. Of me. And then when you come in a circle and you look and then you really see, like, I'm going I'm to really be the one to do everything for you. Mm. And then a lot of times I show, I shoot free video. I go to showcase. It don't even got to be my showcase. When I was hosting, okay, I just spot the mic. You know, and I'm gonna do my God because if God say, speak to him, hey, you're beautiful. I'm gonna tell you what God tell you. This is your year. Oh, this is your transition. This is your transformation. Whatever God put on my heart, and I did that for you and heaven. It's gonna keep going because that's what God is put on you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what He put on me, man. But let me say that, man. I don't sleep, but I know it's gonna all pay off, man. And I love, well, yeah, I love, baby. I love y'all from having me here, man. But that's just the real, like, rich life. I work overtime with it, man. And a lot of times, it's not it, it's not about the dollar. I spend more than I make every time. Yeah, man. You but know, a lot of times, it. though, like, people don't see the grind. Everybody that 100. is is of success, uh, you know, the LeBron James, you don't, you don't see him in the gym. You don't, you don't see the grind, the workout, the, the, all the training and shit that go on to see. make – him the biggest thing on the court you know what i'm saying so it is a lot of sleepless nights all right you know what yes, i'm sir. saying it is a lot of grind it is a lot of man am i doing this the right way amen you know what amen. I'm saying? but but still in the game though still amen. knowing like we getting somewhere with this shit. amen so, you know what i'm saying amen um so bro like to you I, you said three years you've been here how, how long you been? Close to three years. Close to three years? Yeah, man. You done accomplished <laughs> all that in three years. Amen. <laughs> Amen. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You can do a hell of a lot. Amen. You know what I'm saying? With another three. Um, you know, and I and I, I pray that the Lord give that to you. You know what I mean? Um, in the meantime, in between time, now what can we expect? What we got coming up for Rich Man the Vessel? Life with the bag. Uh -huh. The new movie. Okay. And, and just tap into this whole movement, this Rise and Star Network movement, man, because it's a family movement. Like, I can go on about everything, but it's about them now. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's about my movement, my team. So the Rise and Star Network, man, that sums it up, man. With the and stay tuned for, let me, can I just say yeah, this? Luxury Titanic, new album, man. Oh, yeah. Shout I got to shout out my little brother, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Shout out to like, Titanic. Yeah, shout out to hey, my man. Bro, shout out to Titanic. Real, for real. Um, stay tuned for this new album from him, this project. Are y'all, like, taking, um, like other people, let's say if uh, Shorty got a film, can she put it? Oh yeah, of course, network? of course. And let me say that why you. So I got a tele the television network, and I got open slots on it because right now I'm building 24 hour content. Okay. So anybody got a podcast, like even things like these, like the podcast. I know y'all got their own program, y'all. But anybody got a podcast, man? Just some crazy content. That's you know what I'm saying. That the world. It's interesting in, like I'm allowing people to put their content on my network. Yeah, okay. I'm definitely doing that too. Facts, hey man. Facts, yeah. facts. And how can people get in contact with you or reach out to you regarding, you know, booking? Like you said, you host, so you got the hosting gigs, you got the movie gigs, you're in the studio, you're videographer and everything else up under the sun. How can they get with you? Right now, just rich life. L-Y-F-E underscore man man on anything. You can hit my DM. I'm one of them types. If I I answer DMs, Fact. me too. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, me I too. answer inboxes. <laughs> yeah. You feel me? Like that's probably the best way to get in contact with me right now, because you'll probably get a quicker response than that than my phone. Yep. That's yeah, same way saying. with me. People don't believe that neither. Same way with me. For real. I, I, I learned that with you. That right now, you I don't need <laughs> <even laughs> that. My phone, because because you know, yeah. like hey. it just it just it just yeah. be something about 
the fucking phone. I'd be so tired of that motherfucker. And it's crazy you because it's both of them is on the phone. Mm-hmm. The inbox is on the phone and the text is, but it's yeah. just something yeah. about the about social it. media. But see, sometimes even with me though, sometimes like I ain't gonna even lie, depending on where I'm at. Like if I'm in my office, if I'm if if, if I'm in the office. I might not even have my phone. Like my phone might be in a whole nother room somewhere, and I'm I'm on the computer. You know what I'm saying? Like right. I'm communicating off the com- off the computer. Right. Sometimes I don't even want this motherfucker. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> I know you got to wrap it up. I just want to say, man, I appreciate y'all having me out here. Like, hey man, hey man, man we appreciate love, you coming. Bro. You already know, man. Hey, we man. appreciate you rocking with us. And like I said, bro, much success to you in the network and everything that you're doing, man, continue to flourish, continue to build solid platforms and, and continue to uphold your end of the promise. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Amen. So, salute to you again, man. It's the Socket Talk Podcast, so we got to have the sockets in the bill. Hey, Amen. Right. Big ups, man. Keep up the good work, King. Hey. Yeah, man, what it do, man? Hey, you know what it is, Psychic Talk Podcast. That way, you know what I'm saying? Great show today. Hey, always, man. You know, it was a rich affair. You know, shouts out to the um, guests that was in the building. You know, um, the word for the day, you know, expectations. Um, You know, vice versa, you know. From the good to the bad, you know what I'm saying? You know. Just have realistic expectations. That's it. that, That... that really sums up expectations. Be realistic, man. Hey, that's um, it. Um, don't you know? And I'm saying it's like as a parent, I have expectations like for my son. You know what I'm saying? But I can't have these ridiculous ass expectations of my son because I should know my son. You're right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I'm not saying that my son can't exceed my expectations, but. That's what I would prefer him to do. Right. Is exceed my expectation versus come up under the expectation I have of him. Amen. You know what I'm saying? I so, can dig that. Again, I say that to say, man, be realistic. Amen. You know and what I'm and, and expect the best out of life. If you ain't expecting good things to happen to you, why should they happen to you? You know what I'm saying? So be expecting to get a good job. Be mm. expecting to get a nice car. Be expecting to get you a good woman. Mm-hmm. Being expected, you know, even if you ain't got it. You know what I'm saying? Expected. You know, be expected, you know. But like I said, man, shouts out to everybody that tuned in. You know, we will see you Saturday, Psychic Talk Podcast. Tune in. 7 p.m. You know, like Every you Saturday. say. Hey, y'all hit that subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? Follow us on social media. You can follow me at Street Nitty Representative. And you can follow me at Struck Supreme as well as the podcast at Socket Talk Podcast. That way. You know what I'm saying? And with all that being said, Heavenly Father, once again, we thank you for another another great show, another opportunity to be able to fellowship and be amongst your people. Right now, we just thank you for the expecting of, of being great and doing some great things while we're on this earth. Right now, we just truly love you, and we just pray that this podcast will be a blessing to somebody. Right now, we love you, we glorify you, and we honor you. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. That week. Hey, we'll see y'all next week. Stay tuned. Cheer. Yeah. We just fucking out the